Okay, so hello everyone. Welcome back to another one of my video presentations. And for today's topic, I'll be talking about some a very specific point that is also very subjective, but also a source of a lot of flame wars. And I'll be talking about why wired audio solution is still better than a wireless solution one. So again, this is a very subjective topic, but again, this is also one that often flames a lot of internet wars. So you know what, I just want to prove my points here and my takes on the problem. So yeah, if you have specific questions or suggestions for me about the video, leave them in the comment. I'll be very grateful if you do that. So straight away, let's get straight to it. Alright, so before we begin, I'll line up the curve, detailing why this option is even a conflict to begin with. Wireless solution has always been the one barrier that people always try to break. We want our life to be free of wires, of tangling mess that is hard to uncurl off or having them accidentally cut or stepped on. And I get it, especially nowadays wireless products have been upgraded massively, especially for mobile audio solution. We have properly good build quality, introduction of various codecs to make the output sound better, much more reliable wireless connection option, and of course the support given by the various services themselves to, well, improve them. It's like the subsidization of our cellular network back in the day. Everyone wanted to help make it better, cheaper, and much more accessible. And so with that in mind, I'll tell you why it doesn't matter and why wired option will always be a choice despite the improvements made on them. Alright, so why is it then? Why should it be wired? Well, <laughs> I'll have three main factors of why and those three are ease of usage and compatibility, reliability, customizability, and of course, the saving factor of all, prices. That's not three. We'll, we'll just call it three and go away with it. So these are of course factors that wireless products have also improved over the years, but so does the wired product too. So without further ado, let's get straight to the first point. The first reason is the simplicity of its usage and compatibility wired product has. For commercial market, most products would be using the 3.5mm jack. And there's a reason. It is a standardized jack used in almost any and all kind of products and by any, I really mean any. From phones, PC and laptops, to radio and dedicated media players, even cars too. If it has an audio output, chances are it will have a 3.5mm jack. Going deeper, you will also find specific jacks like the 2.5 or the big thing is 4.5. These have their own usage and pros and cons, but generally 3.5mm is on the one used. And even if your device have no 3.5mm jack on its own, say if you are the user of the latest flagship product, you can still use your old device by way of dongles or adapters, costing no more than the earbuds themselves. So not only they lasted longer, they are also guaranteed to work with any devices and products you have so long as you find a plug to plug them into. Second reason as it goes is its reliability. As it turns out, not only are wired solution much easier to use, they are also much more durable and reliable by themselves. Wired solutions often have better resistance towards the common, yet numerous daily abuses we will definitely inflict on it, even those coming from the same brand. Mechanically, it's just very simple because they have very little reliant technology inside them to make them work. Just to prove my point, my current main gear to listen to stuff is the CCA CRA and this IEM has undergone at least 7 washing machine section. Mostly because I'm an idiot that forgot to take them out of my pockets but it goes to show my point. Try to do that with your TWS or Bluetooth headphones without it going over eye straight away. Speaking of reliability, wired solution goes higher than merely physical endurances. Technicality as to the results provided is also a direct consequence of this very simplistic reason supplied inside them. The reason why folks have been tirelessly working on to support various codecs and stuff is partially to make them sound good, to increase the range, you know, from the devices, to make it less susceptible towards random disconnection, and then to also support the lossless or you know raw audio formats such as flag or ape or something like that so why do you think white never have them why do you think white never have those kinds of updates because it didn't need them so it transfers audio signals straight by the cables hard signals as we call them and the devices did not have to transfer to decipher them 
into the signals or turn them into audio first hand before the output. So this is why wired devices have no such problems as latency or delayed outputs and why the microphone will always sound better than those of wireless one. I can't say for every single one of them, but I'm willing to say that even those roadside vendor brands such as Fijans or robots or stuff like that, they will have a much more serviceable microphone than the wireless one, even those that cost quite high, you know. But that is assuming you don't break them first. As the people around here say, you got what you pay for, right? Continuing on, the next reason is customizability. Back then, having different cables or custom faceplates was limited to higher-end solutions. You know, solutions that is generally unreachable for folks simply wanting to listen to their music, but not anymore it ain't, folks. From simple, such as their earbuds and cables, to straight-up replacement for your faulty products for cheap, Wired Solutions often offers a lot of options for everyone to truly customize their products to make it their own. So let's just say, your IEM got one dead size, don't throw them all away, just get the replacement unit for half its price and you're good to go. You want differently colored cable? Starting from as low as 50,000. Earbud tips to increase isolation or one that fits better for you? They're there too. Whatever you imagine, they will be there and I'm sure it will brought you in for some gosh darn pit of rabbit hole. And so, the most important factor? The one that convinced me to do this video in the first place? Well, we all know how it is. We all know it will go this way. But if you still want to know, it's just cheaper. Uh, yeah, so of course they will go this way. So there are reasons why I don't have a lot of wireless products around the house, and that is because of its price tag. My one and only TWS that I dare say good are the Oremo Airbuds 3 which sells for around 300,000. My main contender for easy music listening every day, the CCA CRA, one third of the price for that. With the same money, you can get three of these and they will last you a very long time. No worry about leaving it on charge or losing the left side due to accidental drop or it not supporting the required codex to make the best of your players. But of course, there are exceptions even within this case. So if you wanted to go for the genuine good feels, open back device is mandatory. These are basically headsets with open sides behind the cuff. So that will let audio out. You know, it bleeds basically, but allows for much better immersion for their users. Say when you're playing the live albums of a certain singers or something. But the one that out there say a good budget open back headsets is within the range of a half million, half a million rupiah. And that's not even the best, that's the budget one. The absolute best is the well-known brand, as one audio made from the land down under says, the Hoda 600 by Old Might Sen, which costs, I'm not kidding, 6 million rupiah. <laughs> the price doesn't include the amplifier, as it is one massive chunky boy with big power requirements. You can't just simply plug them into your phone or your laptop or something, or the adapter for its big fingers of a plug, or even the device capable of playing it correctly. So if you want to use this uh, Sennheiser HD600, you have to buy a dedicated uh, media player that have the power required. And these are often half the price of just the headsets themselves, you know, 3 millions. But those are once again exceptions, they are not the norm. My main point is that Wired Option do have some pricey products too up their sleeves. It's just that they oftentimes brought a relatively cheaper solution for better sound quality should one be willing to compromise. And so that is the point for today's video presentations and this is the hill I'm willing to die on. So just to sum this up, why wired is better than the wireless ones is because they are much more reliable, compatible with a lot of devices, could take much more abuses, and of course because they are cheap. Again, this is a preference, this is a subjective matter, you know, what fits for me does not fit for you. But hopefully, I'm able to show you why these preferences, these side wars existed in the first place. And I don't know, maybe convince some of you guys to try this one out too. You know, save up some more with the wired option. Yeah, that will be my video for today. I thank you everyone for watching. Should you have any kind of suggestion, feedbacks, or questions about the topic, leave them in the comment section down below. And see you around, folks.
Thank you for watching.